Hey folks, Moose here. So, um, God, I gotta stop saying ah uh, all the time. Uh, so, I <laughs> just did it again. So, I just got a, uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Sorry, I know it annoys a lot of you. But I just got a load from one of my tech companies. It's not as big as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it's only one pallet less. Uh, but it's it's three pallets plus one 96 gallon toter bin that I have. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So there's a pallet there, small pallet there, another pallet there. Now these are not huge pallets; they're not you know four feet tall, um, but they are really heavy. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of weight to it. So, and I've already started unloading some of this stuff off the pallet there. And I got a bin of cables and keyboards and stuff like that that I've got to go through. So, I'm pretty excited about this load. Number one, all of those server blades and, and, and things, they're all fairly newish. Meaning, I, I've never scrapped anything that looked like them before. Uh, these I have. That big honking thing there I have, there's two really huge <coughs> copper heat sinks in there uh, that are about five pounds each, so that'll be fun to crack open. Plus, there's a lot of all those little handles on the back. Um, they're little fan cooling units. And on the end of each one is a nice set of gold-plated fingers. Uh, those two I'm not sure of. Those two I'm not sure of. But what I'm really excited about are these. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, from six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Plus that one over there. So thirty-five. Thirty-five of these guys. Now, the nice thing about these, or what's, what's getting me so excited about these, is that they're all identical. Identical, sorry, I'm just at a loss for words right now. Um, and each one you take off the top, and I've got, each one has um, 16 RAM sticks and two CPUs. Now, the RAM sticks in these are what's getting me so excited, because they're all, 32 gigabyte RAM sticks. These have a really good market value. So while I paid almost $300 for the movers to pick them up and bring them here, I'm gonna make that back with one, maybe two of these little blades just alone. So I'm excited about that. Um, as for the, the CPUs that are in there, I, I took them off. Uh, the CPUs out of these things, I've never really, well, no, I take that back. Only a couple times have I found any that were really worth much. Um, these are Intel Xeon E52660V2s, 2.2 gigahertz. Um, now these typically don't have a lot of value to them. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm always going to make sure to look it up first before I do anything with it. Uh, what I have been doing with these, especially the ones, I mean, if they're worth less than five bucks each, it's it's not worth it for me to try and, you know, unless I try and sell it all in one lot, or sell it as a lot of scrap CPUs for gold recovery. So with these, I mean, you've got that big copper heat sink on the front, you take that off, and then it's basically, you know, gold plated board that you process with AP once you take off all those little MLCCs and stuff. So, yeah. <sighs> and then there's going to be a ton of iron, scrap steel. There's going to be a bunch of these heat sinks, which are copper aluminum, so I can get radiator price for them. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to take these apart to melt them, because it's just... It's plated copper, so it's it's... When you melt it, it comes out looking kind of brassy. Um, so I wouldn't be able to claim that they're 99% P 
here copper if I, if I melted those. And um, I mean, they've got some weight to them. I already took off a couple in there. Each one is probably probably a pound. So yeah, that's going to get some good value there. And then afterwards, I mean, you look at these boards, there really isn't much on them. I mean, modern technology, there's like oh, one little IC chip, two little, there's like a little BGA and tiny, tiny ICs here and there, some gold-plated pins in there. I mean, that, that's, that's really about it. There's, there's not hardly anything in these things. So most of the time what I do is once I pull the RAM, the heat sinks, and the CPUs out, uh, I'll cherry pick a few things that I want to keep, and I'll just leave the circuit board in the metal case, put the lid back on it, and bring it to the scrapyard as a shred. So that's that. I've got these things. I have no idea what these are. They look like some kind of motorized extender or something. Sorry. And my nose has been running lately. I don't know why. Um, all right, so that's it. That's uh, that's what I'm working on right now. Once I get to uh, that big pallet over there in the corner, that one has all the weird stuff in it. I'll probably make a couple of videos, you know, showing what I find in there. But you know, at this point, wow. So at this point, that's what I'm dealing with. So, some of you guys said you wanted me to, to uh, update you on you know, what I get, when I get, what's in it, that sort of thing, so this is that. So thanks for watching, see you on the next one. All right, so I'm a horrible YouTuber, sorry. Um, started off with a garage full of server blades and stuff like that to, uh, to scrap, and now, they're all gone. Sorry, I didn't really film Taking them apart. <laughs> uh, I got my, my daughter to help me out and we kind of blew through all of it in one day. Um, I did go to the scrap yard today, made two trips and there was a lot, a lot of steel. Boy, have a seat over here. All right, so the first trip that I made to the scrapyard. Um, let's see if I can get this on the camera here. All right, so the first trip was 1,420 pounds, 75 bucks a ton. So that was 47.54. And the second trip. And all this stuff came out to uh, 213.13, so altogether about 260, which paid for the movers. Um, and that was the least by far profitable part of this whole venture. So I had, uh, let's see, those little um, copper aluminum heat sinks. Uh, I separated those out. They give me a dirty aluminum price at 81 pounds. Uh, $1.47 a pound, so it was $113.19. That was the real money maker. Two five gallon buckets of those things was $113. <clears throat> then I had the copper aluminum transformers, 66 pounds. They're only giving four cents a pound for them. $2.52. God, I mean, I would have been better off just chucking them in with the, the light iron. Uh, then we got number two insulated low grade wire. I had 103 pounds and 77 cents a pound, so that was 67.76. Uh, Christmas lights that wasn't part of this load, but you know, hey, four pounds, 33 cents a pound, dollar 32, whatever. Just had it kicking around. Uh, lead acid batteries uh, from all the. Um, like the UPS blades, the um, power backups. Uh, there was a ton, there was 191 pounds of, of batteries uh, that went for 11 cents a pound, so it was 15.62. I was kind of expecting a little bit more than that. I remember at one point they were like 40 cents a pound or at least more than 11. Um, and then more light iron. I had, looks like 380 pounds, 
75 bucks a ton, so $12.72. So, yeah. Focus. There we go. Yeah, so that was uh, that was the trip there. Um, the first load of is it almost 1,500 pounds? My 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 truck was my truck was hurting. <laughs> I should have used the trailer, but oh well. Uh, yeah, the back end was sagging. Uh, but so there we go. So that that's the first part of this. Uh, the next part of this video is going to be uh, showing you some of the things that I post on eBay. Um, I did get, you know, some other stuff that didn't go to the... Um, scrapyard. Uh, I've got, um, you know, some... i got about a pound of gold fingers out of it. Depending on what I find on all these little peripheral boards and PCI cards that I pulled out of the servers. Um, it might be more than a pound of gold fingers. Um, so yeah, so the next step is listing all the RAM and CPUs and looking up those PCI cards. Uh, I, I do have a couple of other little things that I'm going to look up here. Uh, there's a couple of Cisco switches and other little odds and ends. Um, these little hubs here. Let's see if I can test that, see if it's working. Those will probably go for like 30 and up each. Uh, yeah, so I gotta look those up, see what those are worth. Um, and make sure that um, you know, they're, they're worth selling. See if I have a box and so make sure ship them in. And go from there. And after that, I've got some radiators. But, uh, that's a whole other story that I'll get to when I make that video. But yeah, so all in all, it's a good morning. Um, it took me and my daughter literally about a day, so 12 hours or so, uh, to break everything down, and then another hour and a half to load it all up, bring it to the scrapyard. So just that one day, you know, 260 bucks, that pays for the movers. Um, plus, I also made another connection while I was there, so hopefully I get another another account and a couple of leads on a couple of other accounts that I have to work on to see if I can land. You know, if I can if I can get you know two or three or four more contracts like that, I'd quit my day job in a heartbeat. Um, of course, you'll understand that more when I go over you know the stuff like the the ram sticks and things like that. It's a gamble. It really is a gamble. Uh, there, there's so many loads that I get from this place that uh, uh, I mean, some of the some of the server blades look like they've been picked through. There's hardly anything in them. Uh, some are really outdated, so there's like not much resale value. Uh, there's really never anything much for gold recovery. I mean, out of all of those, out of all of that material. Um, That's all the BGAs and ICs that I was able to pull off. That's it. Not even a quarter of a pound. So, technology these days, it's, um, it's improving. You know, good for tech companies and for manufacturers, but bad for scrappers. Uh, there's just hardly any you know, precious metal value in, in the newer stuff, <clears throat> which is fine. I mean, if you if you get it, I mean, things these days are made to be disposable, it seems. So these companies, they need, they need to be right on the forefront of technology. So they're constantly updating their systems. Uh, but you have a lot of companies out there who can't afford to update their systems. So they need to maintain them. And that means they need to be able to purchase outdated parts. So that's why there's a market for them on eBay, etc. Um, some of my biggest eBay buyers are literally just warehouses like for some reason out in Nevada seems to be a very popular place for them uh, and all they do is they just stock up on <coughs> older equipment <coughs> ram sticks, CPUs and stuff like that 
so that when their customers, their systems break down and you can't buy these things new anymore, they'll go to them and get you know, tested um, used parts. So that's that. So I'll see you in a little bit on the next part when we hit eBay. See ya. All right, so right now I'm kind of at a standstill. Um, I started packing them in trays. I get these RAM trays off Amazon, um, just a, you know, three or four dollars each. Um, so the painstaking process of sorting them out, because they all each have slightly different um, model numbers, I guess. Um, so I sort them in trays of 25. <coughs> making sure that they're all the same exact type when I go to list them on eBay. Right now I've got to wait for three or four days before my next shipment of trays comes in before I can finish packing up the rest of them. Hey folks, Bruce here. So this is the last of uh, the scrap load that I just got from um, a large data center and I've Pretty much scrapped everything as, as you saw in the beginning of this video <coughs> kind of got carried away with it uh, there were a few things that i left on the side just wanted to see if they had any kind of value to them uh, other than of course scrap value and some of those things are these switches so this is for fiber optics um, it's a fiber channel switch so this is an IBM, and these are not worth very much uh, as far as resale. So I'm going to take them apart. Now the first thing that you're going to notice on the back of these things, there's all of these little plugs that come out of the back. Um, this one has 24 of them. Now these things, I've tried to sell them on eBay. They don't move. I mean, they're, they're not very expensive, but the nice thing about them is that each one has a little bit of uh, gold fingers on the end there. Now they're tiny and when you're processing gold fingers, smaller pieces can be a little irritating, but eh, gold is gold and they're really easy to remove. So all you do is you take a pair of needle nose pliers and you grab a hold of them like that and real quick and that's it, they're gone. So that's the first part of this. All right, so next up, got the case. I've already took the screws out because you know, most people don't wanna see me just screwing around. <laughs> so we've got some light iron on the top. The inside looks fairly unremarkable. Uh, we've got a little, looks like a ram stick here. So this is 512 megabytes. Now, it's a small like laptop size. You can try and sell these on eBay. Um, I don't think you're gonna get very much for them. I find that anything under eight gigabytes is, is really not worth my time anyway. Uh, so, yeah, but either way, you've got a little RAM stick, some gold fingers on it, and some nice IC chips on it. All right, so let's zoom in and take a closer look. So, Right here, we've got a nice little BGA chip. It's not the uh, the type with the golden tail, but it's still, you know, still a BGA. We've got uh, a couple of nice IC chips here and there, a few tiny ones there. Uh, we've got some tantalum capacitors over here. Those are the little yellow boxes. Uh, that's all I see. I've got some gold-plated pins in there. And over there, these are not gold-plated. So, let's take a look at what's under these aluminum heat sinks. Watch your eyes when taking those off because they've got springs on them and they like to launch. These little pins look like brass. Alright, so we've got a nice, nice little flat pack in there. This is the uh, gold tail type BGA chip, so those are really good yield. Alright, 
nice piece of aluminum. And we've got, uh, it's one of those weird surface mount chips. The, the top of it's going to be like a nickel plated copper. Um, but as for gold recovery, they're not that great. We've got a little one gigabyte PATA card. That is in there good. Let's go a little clamp. So we take that out. Now inside here you might find you know it's a little bit of gold plating. Um, otherwise, not a whole lot in these things. But we've got some nice gold plated pins in there. Uh, let's see. On this side, nothing there. Under here, we've got the power supply. Alright, so I don't see any IC chips on it, but we do have you know a little transformer, little uh, toroidal transformers or those little um, I forget what they call them, but it's just a little bit of copper wire around a ferret or ferrite donut, I guess. Another one there, got some aluminum heat sinks. And that's pretty much all I'm seeing in there that I'm aware of. If you're seeing something that I'm not noting, make sure you put it in the comments. So there's that. And again, we got all kinds of these things. So these I'll I'll usually gather them up. I have like a whole bunch of them, or wait till after I'm done scrapping the whole load from a place like this. And uh, if they have a the little stopper in them, you gotta pull that up before you can pull the little piece out itself. Um, so yeah, so I'll gather a whole bunch of these up. Wait till I'm done everything else, cause. These are annoying, and I'll just make a cup of coffee, sit here in the garage with the TV on, and just listen to something while I'm breaking those little fingers off. And again, I mean, it takes a lot of these to make any kind of you know, weight of gold fingers, but, you know, gold is gold. So we've got all those. Get that out of there. And let's remove the board to see if there's anything under it. Lately all the screws I just throw them right back in the same case of whatever it is I'm taking apart. They tend to stay put. piece of aluminum there. Steel isn't worth much, but you know, it's like everything else. It all adds up. Alright. So we got a little bit of wire here and there. Alright, now let's look at the bottom. So, we've got a few different things here. So we've got a lot of these MLCCs, the monolithic ceramic capacitors. Um, they can contain both silver and palladium. Do they always? No. Um, but because they're so tiny and you know, it, you're not really going to mess anything up by processing them all together, you know, I just pull them all off anyway when I'm <laughs> really in the mood. Uh, because that takes a lot of those to really make any weight, but they do have a, a decent amount of silver and palladium content, you know, per pound, I guess. So we've got another IC chip, IC chip, another tantalum capacitor there and there. Uh, we've got some of these little gold oscillator chips here. One, two, three. Um, those are nice. They have a nice little gold brazing around the edges. See that? 
don't know if my camera will focus. There's that one, that one right there, and another tiny one somewhere on there. Uh, but yeah, so those uh, get processed pretty much just like a ceramic CPU. I don't know for sure what the yields are on them, uh, but I'm sure that there's, there's data out there to let you know what that would be. So that's that's about it for this. So we've got a big chunk of light iron, the, uh, these cooling fans that are in there. Um, I don't typically bother taking them out. I'll pull the wire off, um, and that's about it. All right, so that's it for the um, fiber switch. Um, you know, decent sized box with you know an okay board. If you want to sell this as is, I'd say it's probably mid-grade. Um, again, with you know, technology improving, granted this was, let's say a year, sometimes you see a year when they were made, um, made in China. Yeah, sometimes, you know, well, anyways, the newer things get, the less gold bearing or any kind of precious metal bearing material you're going to find typically so and, and what you do find the plating will be thinner so that is that so make sure when you're recycling this if you do sell it to like a board buyer make sure you remove all the lithium ion batteries there's a tiny one there it's about the size of a watch battery because uh, they can lower the, the price rate that they will pay you if those are still on there all right so that's that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell, do all that fun stuff. And uh, again, if there's something that I missed on there, let me know. This is a learning process for everyone, including me. So thanks a lot. See you on the next one.